this unit, we will start delving into inequalities as opposed to equations like we had in unit 1A. Um, a lot of these things will look the same as they did last unit. The only difference would be is that there's an inequality symbol instead of an equal sign in a lot of these problems. Um, the first video just deals with writing inequalities for verbal expressions, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, for example, in A, we want to write all real numbers x that are less than or equal to 7. So we start with the x, and again, we can just work from left to right. x less than or equal to. So then we put the less than or equal to sign, and then this, the arrow is pointing to the left for greater than. The arrow would be pointing to the right. But x is less than or equal to, and the or equal to, um, we need to put that line underneath for, and then 7. And that is the inequality that represents that verbal expression. Okay. Um, B is a little bit trickier because notice how it says 6 less than a number k. Not 6 is less than a number k, so that's a difference. That, that's a key that it's, there should be some subtraction going on there. And remember with less than, like we talked a little bit about last unit, with that less than, we need to reverse these. So, you know, if you think about this, if we said 6 less than, 6 less than 20, well, the number that's 6 less than 20 is 14. Well, how do we arrive at 14? We don't take 6 minus 20, but instead we take 20 minus 6. Notice how they change places. So the same thing is done up here. 6 less than a number k is k minus 6, not... 6 minus k. So just be careful with that piece of it. And then it says is greater than, and since it's not greater than or equal to, we do not put a line underneath it, 13. And C, all real numbers P that are greater than or equal to 1.5. E, greater than or equal to 1.5. And then finally, the sum of t and 7, sum is an indication of addition. So t plus 7 is less than negative 3. And then later on in the unit, we're going to talk about how we solve inequalities, um, like those like in B and D how we solve those. Um, in the next section, we're going to check numbers that may or may not be solutions to certain inequalities.